Hello. Today we are going to look into one of the plant item softwares called Stellarium. This is one of the best plant item softwares you can find to explore the night sky. And it's a free and open source software. You can find the source code which is hosted at GitHub. You can visit this page to uh, go to the GitHub page of the Stellarium. So this shows the sky as if it's real. Well, like you watching with a binocular or with a telescope sitting outside from morning to the evening. You can find trace of a star, an exoplanet or satellite and all the other stuff with this software. It's a cross-platform, meaning the binaries are available for Linux, Windows and Mac. And there is even a web version where you can try the software without even installing into your desktop or laptop. The web version is limited, you cannot find all the features that's available in the desktop version, but still it's worth checking before you installing software into your desktop or laptop. You do have a mobile app, which are paid apps for both Android and iOS. Uh, this software comes handy for all the age groups, like child can explore the night sky, the moon, the planets and other stuff. An amateur astronomer can deep dive to find out the satellite paths or the planet paths and they can go to the past or they can come they can go to the future as well as the researcher can use the software uh, to do the simulations by the powerful scripting feature the desktop version is having so here are some screenshots it shows the night sky the constellations uh, are with uh, the boundaries and you have the moon over here and then you see the second screenshot which shows the moon or which was zoomed in and we have all the details related to that moon and you have a satellite which is Starlink satellite uh, you can track the path of the satellite and you can also see all the details related to that satellite so I have some links over here to uh, visit the website of the Stellarium, the GitHub page, as well as the web version. We'll jump into the web version to see how that looked like. So here we are in StellariumWeb.org. This is how the software uh, will be on the web. And this is how the night sky will be during the night time. Uh, it shows uh, some of the brightest stars, Rigel, Sirius, and it shows some coordinates like North. And you can drag across the screen by clicking your left mouse key. And you can search for some any specific object if you want to. Uh, for example, if you search for Moon, it'll take you to the Moon. Uh, it's somewhere down below here. And it gives some, when you select a specific object, it gives you some details about that object. And you can also uh, look into the constellations, like you have some options over here. If you select, it gives you the constellation lines, or if you want to see the art, constellation art, it can also show you the constellation art. And you can do a lot more stuff. Uh, as I told earlier, uh, the web space is limited. You can explore all the functionalities over here. But the desktop will have a full-fledged uh, application related things that you can do with this software. We will jump back into the desktop application to see how uh, it looks like. So now we are in the Stellarium desktop. So this is how the desktop version will be and this is how the night sky will be in the desktop version. So as I told you earlier, it will be like similar to the web, but it has a lot of configuration options or customizations that you can do for your version. So basically it will have two panels over here, one on your left hand side and another one in the bottom. So the left hand side is more of like the configuration screens you can go to and the bottom is some buttons which you can turn and on and off to have some changes into your screen. So I'm not going to go in detail about this software but I can tell you a few things that will make you excited to try the software, do the configurations, all that stuff. So the first thing is you can adjust the date time. So now it's 4.30th, we are on April 30th, 7 2. 
you can change the day, year, a month or time, whatever time you want to, whatever year you want to go to. Either you can go to future, you can go to past. You can change the time from now to in the future or from now to the past. So, and there is a button uh, you can click on your bottom panel, which will take you to the current date and time. And one more thing that excites me to use this is uh, you can speed up and you can slow down what's going on in the night sky. So here you see two buttons like this is, you see, increase time speed and this is decrease time speed. So if I press this button once, you see the seconds are moving fast. And if I press a couple more times, you see the night sky will be moving. So if you sit here, um, like with your chair and some with some drinks, and if you observe the night sky for this much time, this is how the sky will move. And you can even decrease, um, or if you want to go to the current date and time, you can even do this, like what we talked uh, earlier, you can use this button. Um, yeah, we do have the constellation art here, some of the beautiful art that makes the sky uh, looks even better. Um, you can, yeah, you can, you, you can do the same, uh, like a drag option by clicking your mouse um, key, the left side key. And you can even turn off the ground if you don't want to. So there is no ground here, now you're on the space. Um, and um, so other one of the best features you have, you can search for specific objects, satellite, whatever it is. So within within what available in this software, you can search for an object it will take you to that object. For example, if I want to go to uh, the star Rigel, I can search for it and it will take me to the star Rigel. And as well as you see, whenever you select some star, it gives a lot of information about that star. And this is real time information, not some stored information. Uh, it tells you what's happening or what's the movement of that star. And so here we have Sirius and all. So I just want to show you one more thing. So you can search for a satellite. For example, if I search for a Starlink satellite, it'll take me to that satellite. Let me turn off the ground to show that satellite. So and if you can zoom in to see uh, that satellite and as satellite is moving, it will show like the trajectory or the path, the way how the satellite is being like traveling in the space. And you can just right click on the screen anywhere to just get rid of the selection as well as that content. And you can zoom out to see your entire uh, screen. So there are a lot more options you can like explore. Um, there is a configuration window to configure all the stuff. And even there is a help window, which you can go in detail and learn about this software. Um, I think for now, I'll stop with what we just saw. And maybe I will try to make some detailed videos in future, exploring each and every option available in the software.